All right, so we're gonna look at volume percent, which is another way that you look at concentrations with solutions. Um, and we're gonna do it in the most fun way. We're gonna talk about alcohol because that is a very common uh, way that we talk about volume percents. Here we go. Okay, so volume percent um, is a, another very easy equation. Let's cover that up. Okay, so the volume percent of a solution is gonna be the volume of your solute divided by your total volume, multiplied by 100 because it is a percent, right? So anything that's a percent, you always multiply by 100. So if you have a 12 ounce Firestone DVA, the best beer ever, um, I mean, my opinion, uh, and that is 5% alcohol by volume, how many ounces of that solution is actually ethanol, okay? And ethanol is alcohol, okay? Ethanol alcohol is what is in alcoholic beverages, okay? So ethanol is just C2H5OH, just fun fact. That's ethanol. That is the, the actual alcohol that makes something alcoholic. All right, so how would I calculate this, right? So I know that my volume percent is going to be my volume of the solute divided by my total volume times 100, okay? So in this scenario, I know my percentage, so I can plug that in. I have 5%. My volume of my solute, I don't know, that's what I'm trying to find. Divided by my total volume is 12 ounces. And this is times 100. Okay, so you just do some simple math, and depending on how you uh, like to solve your mathematical equations, it's good for you. You can divide it by 100 times 12, whatever, okay? And you should get that x equals 0 0.6 ounces of ethanol, okay? So 0.6 ounces of this whole 12 ounce drink is actually the alcohol um, that you drink. Okay, good times, all right? Uh, they might ask you a question like how much of this is actually the, you know, the solvent, which is easy. Okay, so if that's a, the, another question I didn't think to write down, um, you just take 12, your total, minus 0 0.6 of your solute, and you could find that you have 11.4 ounces of your solvent, okay? Um, uh, out of this whole 12 ounce beer, only 0.6 ounces of that is actually ethanol, okay? If I did another of the same type of problem, okay? Still has black bourbon, which is my husband's favorite. Uh, we jokingly say that it looks like it's out of a uh, paint thinner can, but whatever, that's what it takes. So, uh, Still has black bourbon has 40% alcohol by volume content, if an average pour of liquor is two ounces, how many ounces of the bourbon are actually ethanol? So exact same process, right? Your volume percent is gonna be at the volume of your solute divided by your total volume times 100, okay? You just plug stuff in that you know. So you know you have your volume percent of 40. You don't know what the volume of your solute is. You don't know how much alcohol is in there. X divided by total volume, a two ounce pour times 100. And again, you just do your simple math, right? So you can divide both sides by 100, multiply both sides by two. And what do you know? You find that this is also 0.6 ounces of ethanol. Okay, so Both the beer and a two ounce uh, pour of bourbon would have the exact same amount of alcohol in it, which obviously two ounces versus 12 ounces of your total drink is a different volume, which is why, again, be careful with whatever you're drinking, hard liquor, all right? Fantastic. Either way, there you go, volume percent uh, problems, answers, good luck.